Just a quick disclaimer, this video is not going to be uploaded and published until after the release of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, so just keep that in mind as the video goes on. Alright, so let's go. Pun totally intended. <laughs> So by the time y'all see this video, uh, a certain set of games will have released. Let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee, both for the Nintendo Switch. I personally am very excited for these games, but I have heard many, many people, um, both in person and online, complaining about how stupid they think these games are going to be. Now, I just want to offer my defense for these games. When I first heard about these games coming to the Switch way back when, I began going around to a lot of my friends who were big Pokemon fans, and I was asking them their opinions on which of the previous games I should play so I could prepare myself for these games. I knew I was really interested in these games, but I hadn't played a full-on Pokemon game since Pokemon Yellow, and even then I didn't really get through it, and it was only for the purpose of having Pikachu. Well, one of those friends clarified for me that these two games are not meant to be the main series of games. They are not the next generation of games, which I kind of knew, but I was very glad for the clarification. And besides, every time I asked someone which one I should play, the end answer usually ended up being, play any of them, they're all great. Basically, I couldn't go wrong with any one that I picked. Now, that's not to say I hadn't played anything Pokemon related. I had. Uh, back on the N64, I played Hey You Pikachu, Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, Pokemon Snap. Ugh, I always loved Pokemon Snap. Don't know why, I just loved it. I really loved the mini games though in Pokemon Stadium. Those were great. Lickitung. That was the best one. I would purposely eat the spicy food just to see Lickitung go crazy. Now fast forward a few months and I come across an interview where I realize what these two games are really intended for. In some sort of Nintendo interview, it was clarified that Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee were more intended for people who have played Pokemon Go, the app for smartphones, and haven't really gotten into the main series of games. So it combines elements of Pokemon Go and a refurbished Pokemon Yellow. Furthermore, in the interview, I had read something along the lines of, and it's not just for people who like Pokemon Go, it's kind of also aimed at people who maybe they haven't played the games in a really long time, who only watched the anime, who only played some random spin-off games and would like to get into the series of games but really don't know where to begin. This could not sound more perfect for my situation, okay? So I began getting really excited about it, but amidst all of this, I hear people talking crap. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The worst thing about Nintendo is its fan base. Like, chill out. But at the same time, I'm sure the different creators at Nintendo are kind of grateful for the fans being so mean and stupid all the time because it pushes them to work harder, but I digress. So let's get the obvious complaint out of the way, and that's all the people coming forward and being like, where's the new generation of Pokemon? I'm so mad, I don't want to play these stupid games, they're not the new generation. Well, first of all, no one said you had to play them. You don't have to pay the money for them. Don't buy them. You have free will. It's your money. And second of all, you know you're getting a new set of games in 2019. At least, I think that's the projected time of release. Chill out. You will get your games. Now, let me speak in favor of what I think these games will offer. As was mentioned in the interview, it's aimed towards a different set of players. The goal of these games is kind of to bring people into the Pokemon series that either have never gotten into the series or were a long time ago, and either way, are kind of afraid to get back into it, don't know where to start. Because let's be honest, there have been a lot of releases, many new generations, like there's what, like something like 800 Pokemon now? If the only ones you've played were like 
Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Red, or for me, Pokemon Yellow, then yeah, it's kind of intimidating. I mean, as you can tell, I just kind of have a thing with Pikachu. You can see my Pikachu pillow pet. Um, hold on. And there's another Pikachu right there. I love Pikachu. So naturally, we know which one I'm going to get. But I want Eevee as well. It's complicated. So why wouldn't you want more people playing the games? If anything, they'll play these new games and go, okay, I want to play the real set of games that are going to come out in 2019, and they'll get those too. And then maybe they'll start buying the old ones. I mean, I have a new 3DS XL, so I could easily go to the eShop and get some of the old ones. I debated getting Pokemon Yellow, and then I was like, I don't really want to deal with those pixels. Except I play Link's Awakening, so... Kind of hypocritical i guess now let me explain why i'm excited me personally these games look like they were made for someone like me i have not played a main series pokemon game since pokemon yellow and it was just because of pikachu i played spin-off games pokemon stadium one and two hey you pikachu pokemon snap i played pokemon go wasn't my favorite thing ever the moment i got a pikachu because i didn't know there was a way to wait it out and get pikachu in the beginning I stopped. It got boring, and hopefully these games kind of bring a new twist to it. And I love the anime. That said, I only ever watched the first generation or first season, which yes, I know there are Gen 2 Pokemon in it, Togepi. These games look like so much fun, and I think I would have a great time with it. So to all of you naysayers out there that are like, ew, it's not the main series of you know, the Pokemon games, it's not the new generation. Like I said, you don't have to buy it. Go away, wait for the next games because they are coming. Second, these games are aimed at people like me who maybe haven't been able to get into it and are afraid to, and this can bring in a whole new audience and you should want that. Even if you don't want this specific game, it will probably bring more people to the beloved series. And lastly, I personally am just excited for this game and I also know many who are as well. So I don't know if that was a great defense of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, but that's my defense. And by the time this video is published, the games will already be out and hopefully I will have bought one. I may not have. Um, so maybe there will be a follow up with what I think about the game, but you could probably tell by the time below if there's actually a follow up with how I feel about the game. Or maybe that'll just be a whole separate video. I don't know. But that's it for today. If you liked this video, you should give it a like. If you didn't, then don't. Or give it a thumbs down. It's up to you. You got free will. What are your opinions on this new game? Let me know down below. And while you're at, you might as well subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see right away when more videos of mine are published. Thank you again so much for watching. Bye bye.